So we are only one year away from the XFL starting. But until then, we have to suffer through another year of NFL playoffs. Last week, we had a wild card showdown that was maybe the most surprising outcome of any wild card weekend of all time or last year. I don't really know. But this year, we're going to, this year, this week, we're going to break down the divisional rounds and the pick last podcast here, back in the sweatshirt dome, because it's a thousand fucking degrees. <laughs> here we are, the pick last podcast, everybody. It is January and it's still hot in this it's, room. It makes no sense in the Palladium it's, uh, today. It's because Brian's a big fan of wearing like a tank top and cranking the heat up to like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess that makes sense when you come in from the cold and then you have to suffer with a tank top wearing Scrooge outside. So just take your shirt off, dude. Yeah, I, yeah, could, yeah. I could do that. Brian always likes to I always think, while I wearing like, like a sweater. <laughs> I've, been, I've been wearing a hoodie since day one and I'm not going to stop. <laughs> it's like July in my room. He's wearing a sweater. He's like, it is hot. <laughs> so joining me to the right is the man with the beard, Mike. He might be a pedophile to Quattro. <laughs> Definitely, maybe not a pedophile. <laughs> hey, the motherfucker. The motherfucker. Hey, hey, the motherfucker. <laughs> Isn't that oh. all R. Kelly shit coming out there? Yeah. That's like, yeah. <laughs> you can't even joke about that yeah. anymore. <laughs> no, let's, let's, yeah, I'm going to distance myself from R. Kelly in this episode. <laughs> Those are going to be our iTunes tags so we get all the views. <laughs> Hashtag R. Kelly. Hashtag, Hashtag motherfucker. <laughs> surviving pick last. Uh, joining him to his right is Andrew the Rocket Parker. Hello, hello. It's also, great to be here. On, that, I don't, on the watch list. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, also. I don't know what I did, but I'm, I'm here. It's <laughs> I'm on, it's I'm on the suicide watch list after the Giants season. <laughs> and, and to my left, possibly the only human being to be on both our good sides and our bad sides while playing football. If he's on our team, I just I think he's on our good side. And if yeah. he's not on our team, he's yeah. definitely on our bad side. He's a defensive whoa, 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 if, he's, the if he's not on your team, he's on my team winning. <laughs> so it's only your good side. That is true. He's either the bane of Mike DeQuatro's existence <laughs> or the love of his life. <laughs> that's a better, that's, that's yeah, that's a better, better intro. That's good. Give it up for our boy PJ. Uh, thank you. Thank you for having me. Appreciate How's it. How's it going, bud? How you doing? Good, man. Chill. Yeah, chill. PJ, like, also uh, a Giants fan struggling through this past yeah. season with us. Stuff. I actually went to that last game against Did the you? Cowboys. Yeah. Were tickets yeah. like three yeah, dollars? <laughs> I actually uh, free, tickets, free tickets, but I was five yards from the field. It was awesome. Oh damn, that's yeah. pretty good. Nice, that's pretty nice. It was dope. That's so yeah. Um, Sucks so, you didn't get to see Zeke play. Sorry. No, that's okay. That's all right. Fuck you got to see uh, Saquon go. Yeah, yeah he did his thing. That's true. Yeah. yeah. He did well. He did yeah. well. He did his thing. So uh, yards, like that. let's get a little housekeeping yeah. done before we roll into these crazy games of this past weekend. Mm-hmm. Uh, first off, Bry, got a new uh, movie mayhem out? That's right. This uh, Sunday coming out with episode one, uh, sorry, review 154, the original Muppets movie. We did a whole month of action movies. We just did a year of review, which is all right, but we needed a break. So we're going to do the softest, safest movie known to man. The original 1970s Muppet movie. It's time for a palate cleanser. It's, it's time for a change. <laughs> Gotta get rid of those action movies. Yep. And, uh, of course, I've been alluding to for weeks, we just launched uh, Bulldog Gaming, our gaming mm-hmm. podcast. Uh, the first episode is up now. You can check that out on our top games of 2018. And uh, give us a follow on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Bulldog Gaming. Uh, we're going to be streaming. We don't have a consistent schedule yet, but uh, as we... Wait. You, Stream, can, find, we'll you can find those boys on Spotify, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, no, no, no. No Spotify uh, no yet. Spotify, yet. Spotify needs like four so episodes. For Podbean, you YouTube, and iTunes. Same as this show. Same any, as any, it, yeah. Anywhere you'd really look for a podcast, it should be there. Where all when, mediocre podcasts are found. You can find <laughs> us all. When do you release your episodes? Uh, they will be coming out most likely Tuesday mornings. Monday okay. nights, Tuesday mornings. Mm-hmm. So uh, the next episode should be out this Tuesday. Awesome. Yes, nice. Nice. absolutely. Nice. So, uh, boys, what a crazy week. Uh, yeah. It was an intense week. Should we, should we go in yeah. order? Don't, we... don't jump out to seats yet, boys. we still it... got an hour left. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Mikey looking very thrilled about his Cowboys. Yeah. Yeah. The, the man who was probably going through, like, I guess, ebb and flows of a panic attack through, like, two hours... Uh, yeah, Calling in conspiracy of, theories yeah. left and right. The refs what? are out to get us. The, oh, come on, dude. <laughs> the, dude. Tech Prescott, top five quarterback of all time. Well, the, I mean, oh, the Seagulls dude. are probably the hottest team coming in, no? Yeah. I mean. They, they were, uh, them and the Colts, yeah, I think, the were Colts. the two, were the two. I mean, even but even Dallas, too. Dallas was, Dallas was getting Dallas hot. Dallas was really, really hot. Um, You know, we won eight of our last seven before that game. <laughs> you know, so we were, we were right there just as hot as they were, but. Man, they came out. They came out with the stat where, uh, you know, 
playing against the Cowboys, you have the fewest penalties called. Like, it calls it for, uh, like, against Dallas's favor was, like, at an all-time low. Uh, calls in Dallas's favor was, like, they were ranked 32. Okay. And it's just, like, it's hard to, you know, you know, when you see somebody get past the deference and then it's no call, you know. Yeah, we've, we've been there. Yeah, it's not. It's not. We've fun. definitely seen a giant or two get <laughs> passing a <laughs> Very true. Yeah, and nothing get called from it. Yeah. yeah. Is it bad that like every time the Cowboys would get like any single first down or completion, I pictured Mikey like jumping out of his chair like, "Let's go, let's go." <laughs> no, no. I definitely, I definitely think of a fist pump. Yeah. Oh, like yeah. the more I'll, subtle. I'll, I'll, I'll do my my Jason Garrett, uh, you know, clapping impersonation. But what? That, that's, that's grabbing his it. girlfriend by his shoulder, <laughs> shaking her violently. Is she a Cowboys fan? No, she doesn't watch football. Uh, what jersey were you wearing? Uh, I actually was just wearing a red blank t-shirt. Oh, yeah. oh his lucky t-shirt yeah. now. Wow, yeah. His lucky t-shirt. That's it. Uh, Are you going to wear that Sunday? I don't believe in superstitions. Oh, okay. But, we'll get back to you if, if you guys lose this week. Last, <laughs> also, <laughs> superstition <laughs> watch 2019. Yeah. To quote three episodes ago, I like to pray to the football gods. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe uh, in any mumbo jumbo. <laughs> so le- last week, uh, you know, I let everybody know that uh, I had a bet with a coworker, and so because Dallas went, uh, won, he had to wear uh, a Zeke uh, a Zeke jersey and my Dallas Cowboy hat all week long. Mm. So uh, you today, to wear your today hat? was game three. It was it was like a brand new hat. It oh. was like I've only worn it like once. So uh, he, he, today was day three of wearing Is he a Giants it. Fan? He's a Seahawks fan. That's oh. why. Yeah, that's why we bet. I was gonna go. have to wear. A Seahawks like hat and scarf because he's like a, a medium and I'm fucking fat. So <laughs> see, I would I would have made you like dress up like Pete Carroll. Yeah, like with um, the whole hair and everything. I'd have to perfect. chew gum twenty four seven. Go get him. Go get him. Have, a, I was, have a cheerleader do your homework. Go, I was go get him. him. I was showing like uh, like how many sticks of gum do you think Pete Carroll goes through a game? Because that motherfucker is always yeah. chewing on fucking something. Well, maybe he goes through one and he just chews it. It's just. <sighs> Just goes Man, through, what know? a piece of shit well, that orbit, he is. Orbit lasts pretty long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get himself a bubble yum, you know? Yeah. That's, it's not like yeah. those nickel ones. Where like Remember bite the, into the, the <laughs> fucking zebra gums that you oh, have to shoot shit. every five yeah. seconds, but yeah. it was so fucking good. Oh, uh, fruit Stripe. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Andrew, you know, did you see the meme That's of... That's our uh, sponsor, actually, brought to you by Fruit Stripe <laughs> Gum. <laughs> the official XFL pod, podcast brought to you by Fruit Stripe. <laughs> did, you, uh, did you see the meme of it's uh, like Pikachu with it, like the, the mouth open? Yes. That's going on. Everyone's seen that. Yeah, but everyone's seen but <laughs> somebody put like Pete Carroll's like hair and headphones on top of Pikachu. Uh, I didn't see that. <laughs> so I actually want to take that meme and then be like, "What it feels like to chew five gum." <laughs> is, it, is that the new crying Jordan? Meme? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, probably. yeah. I think it's like for, up, yeah. for like upsets, like more of like you're shocked that that just yeah. happened. Wow. Um, but yeah, it was a it was a very solid now, game. It was a lot on paper. It's a lot closer than the game actually was. I think. Um, would the game be? Would you be as confident if Savannah Janikowski didn't blow his ninety-year-old hamstring yes, in the middle of the game? Yes, because I think that they scored a touchdown because they couldn't kick a field goal, because um, they had to go for it on fourth down. They completed the fourth down and then drove up and scored a touchdown. Okay. Uh, they also had to go for two because the guy couldn't even kick a fifteen-yard field goal. So the game actually was close because he pulled his hamstring. First of all, what was that that onside kick at the leg? <laughs> That was Ooh. fucking hard. I want to get that, that guy's was jersey. Horrible. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, that's Pete yeah. Carroll's like, all right, we're going to go for an onside kick. You know how to kick that, right? He's yeah, like, he's like, yeah, 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 yeah sure, yeah. sure. And then he, he kicks that. He drops it. Like, he like, like, it was a drop punt. Yeah. And so then, so then like, you just imagine he's like, I thought you said a punt. No? <laughs> no? Yeah, I wasn't supposed oh, to punt like, it. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not a professional kicker, but I feel like I could do better than that. <laughs> yeah. I could, like, dribble a ball. He didn't even give the team a chance to fucking get it. I wouldn't even fucking dribble. I would literally just, like, you know, in the water boy when he's like, Where's my bitch? Where's yeah. my bitch? Like I would just like drop it and punt it at that guy's yeah. face and hope that it bounces off of him. Like that was terrible. You know, and, and they were well, talking about like, oh, they can't run up anymore to the onside kick. Like they have to start from a dead stop. So well, it give it gives teams like the Colts an advantage because they don't have Venezuela doing the kickoffs. They have their punter doing yeah. the kickoffs. Mm-hmm. So. Seattle, I guess, wanted Janikowski out there doing the kickoff, like because he got burned on that t- touchdown where he just walked off the field. <laughs> yeah. Like, because uh, he, he, they just want him to boom it to the back of the end zone. I guess they don't yeah. trust their special teams enough. And that was the one thing I noticed was like, if Seattle scored again, which they did, the guy had to punt it. Yeah. The, uh, the guy had to kick it off, and he kicked it to like the ten yard line, and we managed to get it to like the thirty five or the forty or something like yeah, that. Because he doesn't have the leg to kick it. Yes, yeah. that far, and that's I think I believe he was their backup punter. Like I don't even think he was their punter. I, oh I'm pretty God. I'm pretty sure it was a backup punter that 
that they they called upon to. Uh, I think it was a pretty complete game though by the Cowboys. As much yeah. as I hate yeah. the Cowboys, no, oh, yeah, I, I hate to admit you, it. You know what I mean? Like defense, defensively, they played out of their mind. You know what I mean? Like yeah. of course, some like crazy catches. You know, and and that's been going on all season against the Cowboys. It's like it's specifically like. DeAndre Hopkins had that, uh, you know, uh, the tight end, uh, Zach Ertz had it seven yeah. times. The the tight end for it, Ebron, and uh, they, who's that other wide receiver that the Giants have? Uh, that's not... S- Sterling Shepard? Not, not Shepard, the other Shepherd? guy. No, who's who's the other... You mean Red Elson? Um, no. You're talking about tight end or receivers? No, receivers, sorry. Cody receiver. Latimer? Latimer. Latimer? Latimer had, like, two oh, great catch catches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had one on the sideline yeah. and then one in the, the end zone. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's just like, you can't do anything about that. Yeah. You know, and the subreddit's yes, blowing up. <laughs> <laughs> but that's how they're going to win the nah, game, I mean, defensively, and yeah. you give the ball to Zeke. Yeah. You know what I mean? You, I don't think Dak is a QB that is going to... He can win you a game. I mean, he did it with that game because... That last drive, it was a third down, right? A third and like... It was third and 17. 17, and he had that run. That run That run was... was orgasmic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Crazy. Like, that was... Relax. That was crazy. You win a Super Bowl oh, no, before no. you build a, st- a I don't statue need to. I don't need to. That... You don't understand. For like the year or two or however long that Mikey plays like the subtle, I take the higher road, I'm right. a better I'm a person. good sportsman, yeah. The past week of just like... Oh, how does it feel that Zeke has more playoff wins than Odell Beckham does? <laughs> <laughs> you idiot. Yeah. Dak turns it up in the fourth quarter. Yeah. We, well, stati- what t- statistically, you know what it's like to have a quarterback, you idiot? <laughs> statistically, I mean, uh, you know, and PJ, you're not the only person that says this, but like even on like, you know, the NFL subreddit and you see it on Twitter all the time, people are always criticizing like Dak and how he can't win games. The guy has the most come from behind wins since he started. He has the most uh, fourth quarter uh, uh, like game winning drives since he started in the league. The guy can put it, like, yeah. the guy so thrives under pressure. You're, you're asking us about criticized quarterbacks who are really good at comebacks? Yeah, fourth quarter I don't know where I've yeah. ever <laughs> been that before. Well, I can't even think of two examples. <laughs> you see, that's actually kind of funny because any time Eli has the ball with two minutes left, I'm like, I don't want this guy with the ball. Like, that's that's one thing I always gave him credit for is he's amazing in that final drive, the mm-hmm. two-minute two minute drill, he's unstoppable. That's what he was known for for he, many years. Yeah, exactly. And What's gonna happen next week when Mikey's not here? Instead of the Cowboys, li- and if the Cowboys, oh, lose. I'm not gonna be here next week. Oh, that means they're gonna lose. Can I Skype in? <laughs> <laughs> Talk to I Andrew. Wanna, it's yeah, his house. I want to be. I mean, even if we. All right, if we lose, then I don't want to be in. But yeah, I'm gonna be traveling to well, actually, San Antonio. Weren't you like not showing up and they won like three weeks in a row? Yeah, yeah. Like, look at that. Oh. I've showed up and they've won three weeks in a row. So, uh, uh, you know. uh, so you're uh, uh, I don't believe we'll in see. superstitions. There's we'll some. We'll see what happens this week. <laughs> oh no. To yeah. be continued. Oh, yeah, this, uh, this week's gonna be. This is gonna be a tough week, but you know. Uh, PJ, what would you uh, what would you think would be besides the run by Dak? What else do you think would be a like a major turning point for Dallas in that game? Well, I think the whole Janikowski going down kind of it, it definitely made them play differently. Mm-hmm. Um, because what were they da- they were down uh, going into head they were going to be down fourteen ten or something like that. Uh, it was thirteen. 13- nine or something like that. Yeah, like, so they yeah. would have been down a point or they something would, like yeah. that. I mean that I mean that's a momentum and then yeah. and then they were getting the ball back. They were getting they? the ball back. They were too. getting the ball back. Yeah. So I mean that change I mean it's crazy because like you think that like oh wow it's just a kicker, you know what I mean? But if you don't have a backup kicker or anything like that, it kinda makes you yeah. just because then on a third down that could be a third and one and then turns into a fourth and one or yeah. whatever it may be, you gotta go for it now because you can't trust that your punter's going to make the fucking field goal. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, you can't do that, so... Yeah. It, it's crazy how important kickers play into these games, and speaking of another kicker that played very important is the uh, Bears-Eagles game. Oh, can, oh I, can, I, can, I say, can I say one more quick thing? No. Real quick? No. <laughs> All right, fine. Is it going to be Dak Prescott's the best? No, no. But <laughs> Boy, it, go ahead. No, but when, ahead. It, when it came to, like, Seattle, I think that their biggest... The biggest issue that they had, and it wasn't even like an issue, was like losing the game. Their their game <laughs> plan, Dak. their game plan going into this game was to run the ball. And now Russell Wilson's a fantastic quarterback, and I've always I've always said that he's you know he's a great passer. Uh, he's also really good with the read option. But they were planning on running the game, uh, running pretty much the entire game. It wasn't until they were behind when he started throwing and completing all the passes, as you do. But they didn't want to abandon their run game, even when they were like they were neck and neck with the Cowboys. And I feel like that hurt them in the end because they were they were toasting Dallas on the passing game, but they refused to pass the ball and they were constantly just trying to run with Carson and uh their other their backup. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, Penny, 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 Penny. Richard, Penny. Richard Penny, right? Yeah, yeah. So like they're not running, they're running the ball constantly and not throwing the ball, and then finally they're throwing the ball, and making all these completions and scoring touchdowns, and it's like where was that all game? And because the so, game was so close, Mikey's keys to beating Dallas is throw the ball more. I mean. <laughs> People make good catches against us. Our deep, I mean, we have I mean, one be, of the best, I mean, you probably have two one best, of the best corners. corners. We yeah. have the best yeah. cornerback yeah. and, like, the fourth best cornerback yeah, in the league right sure. now. So. To be fair, I, mean, I feel like it's not a hot take. Like, they have a great defensive line. Right. Solid line that whole defensive team is yeah. it's just, our, our, it, no, the whole defense, the whole defense yeah. is yeah. what's been carrying them, especially it's through true. that whole run that they've been going through. Mm-hmm. The ways they win, defensively, run the ball. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. you got Dak makes one or two big plays that change the whole game. Whether yeah. it be a fourth down, Cooper third down, too. Coop, Cooper, yeah, right Cooper, there. yeah, everyone. Beasley you know. finally came back into the plate calling, and that that uh, unfortunate to Brian. Uh. <laughs> okay, so he caught one ball, and he got the uh, onside kick. He's still not a good receiver. Uh, all right. Brian's got oh, a case whatever. of the Beasles. Yeah, he does. He does. Well, I like think Beasley. I think also Beasles <laughs> resistant, but I think also Dak doesn't really destiny. use him because I think when Tony yeah. Romo was there, um, he was kind of like a go-to, like on the third down for him as that slot receiver, and he's fucking shifty as well, hell. Well, well, Beasley was Beasley was Dak's like go-to in his rookie year. Yeah, and then last year it kind of fell off, and then this year it was almost non-existent. Yeah, so Dak was the one that really put Beasley on the map. Um. But I think I think now it's kind of uh you know we're incorporating everybody. We got our tight end who now we he feels comfortable throwing. Yeah, where the to, fuck so. did that guy come from? No clue. He, he's got on, he's hands our, offensive champion. He's That's our third he, string yeah. tight end. That, that now, game that game starting. I went to, he had three fucking touchdowns. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, well also I mean, Giants can't cover tight ends. Yeah, the Giants. They just let him touch. I mean, that's not saying much, but yeah. Yeah, we're also bad with tight ends too. So It's crazy. They play the and they're gonna play the Rams this week. Which you know, Todd Gurley's fully rested. Uh, uh, was, hey, he's, is he? He's fully rested, but he's also he was, he was hurt too. Yeah, yeah he's, he's hurt. very limited in he's practice. Limited. His knees giving him issues. Yeah, he's having. He's having I mean, the rest like definitely player. helped him. That's but, what yeah. happens uh, when you're an idiot and you sit players for two weeks exactly. and they're on a bye week. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. and not and not to mention the two teams that they played behind them uh, before the bye week was the Cardinals and the 49ers. So they're not even like playing against competitive teams that like are going to give them trouble, and now they have to play against a top five or six defense in the league. That's yeah. going to be a tough thing to, to mm. overcome. We could talk more so about that later. So we all on but... my, uh, my boat that uh, was Sean McVay's the world's biggest dummy? I'm getting there. It's okay. <laughs> I'm getting there. We'll see, I don't think we'll he's we'll a see smart how this guy. game goes. Oh, we'll see. <laughs> yeah. He's been very adamant that McVay's a sham. <laughs> he's, a, he's a fraud. Okay. He so... was reading the card. <laughs> <laughs> he was. Uh, so... <laughs> so back to what I was saying before. The Eagles and the Bears, possibly it was the... Was it the game? It wasn't the game of the week. It was the last. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was uh, the, Sunday night. Uh, was Sunday. Sunday. I would say that was my game of the week. Yeah, easily. Um, that it, game was crazy. Yeah. Was, the first half was very rough to get. Yes, through. absolutely. It was. It was looking like my prediction was like right on the money. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I said it was going to be like nine three or something. Yeah, you had like a field goal game. Yeah. yeah, and I was technically right. It was determined by a field goal. It was. <laughs> yeah, it was. that's crazy. But uh, this game, you know, it it shows. Uh, so the biggest controversy that comes out of this game is now Nick Foles. What's what's the deal with him? Do you keep playing him? Uh, <laughs> well, you have to I keep mean, you keep him, playing right? him. Uh, yeah. How do you get rid yeah. of the hot hand? I, don't I mean, know. he's shown time yeah. after time in the playoffs that he he's a, a winner. He had, like one bad, he had like one or two bad starts and constantly was just like, you know, passed off as soon as uh, Wentz came back. And it's like, Wentz is a good quarterback, but, you know. I, I think, mean, before Wentz was going down, he was having an MVP yeah. type year. Yeah. I think I mean, they he rushed was, Wentz back too soon. Yeah, probably, but. Yeah. I mean, you have Carson Wentz. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, here's the thing. If Foles does it again and makes the run, even if he doesn't win the Super Bowl, let's say he gets there, what do you do as the Eagles owner? Trade him. Do you trade Wentz? You trade him. You you got, trade no, Foles. no, trade no, Foles. no, no. Trade Foles? Well, you had to sign Foles. Foles to trade him. Yeah. He's a free agent. Oh, yeah, that's year. right. Yeah. All right, so, so Foles. Oh, so, so no. I hope, I no, hope so he then, just gets, gets paid He's going to get paid somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's he, a lot of QB need. I mean, even the Jaguars. Well... You know, yeah. I mean, the Jaguars are QB. Late Jaguars last are going to trade up and get Haskins, dude. Well, because it's I've possible. Heard, yeah. I mean, it's possible. I've heard talks of like you know you sign Foles and maybe trade Wentz for two first rounders. You could do that. It's you could do that. Too. Not I mean, crazy. It's, it's not crazy. Is Foles? Now I know that Foles is very, very good in 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 the playoff like pressure and stuff like that. But can you rely on him in the regular season to get you to the playoffs? I think his sample size is too small. Yeah, he had yeah. that one run with Philly. I think when he stepped in, right after Michael Vick, I think he came in. Yeah, am I right with that? 
I feel uh, like they had like a yeah yeah, yeah that sounds they good. just yeah. came in right after Vic yeah. he lit it up he threw like. But, 20, 20 complete uh, twenty touchdowns to like one interception. Didn't he set like the yeah, passing but, touchdown he, franchise record? Yeah. Or something? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but last year though, when when Wentz went down, he had to win what? He he, he won like four he won games three or four right. games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, so he's he's showing yeah. he can win the games. But yeah. I think what he's saying, can he play at full sixteen? Oh, I'm, I mean, and, consistent, and, and who, consistently, I mean, who knows? Well. Yeah. I mean, someone's gonna pay him. He's gonna get paid for oh, oh, just yeah. just by his playoffs. But, but that's the Denver's. I don't know. John Elway comes calling. I can see that. How old is he? He's got to be like 31, He's 29. 29. 29. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what makes it kind of, kind of a a strange thing because you have a 25 year old Carson Wentz who's dealt with some injuries, but if he's you know prepared properly and maintained, he could you know turn it turn it around. Mm -hmm. While you have a savvy veteran quarterback who has playoff experience, which is very tough to find. Super Bowl experience. Exactly. That's what (laughs) playoff experience is. But you have a savvy veteran quarterback who is well-respected throughout his team. He's respected throughout the league. Everyone really likes him. He, there's nothing really bad to say about him except you don't know if he could play the full year. Yeah, yeah. but do the Eagles pay him and give him a short-term kind of deal? You say, like, three years. And, and have and have him as a backup in case of Wentz? Because you're going to have to pay Wentz later yeah. on. Yeah. So, you know but like, he's, he's, like he's still on that, what, th- he's, this is his second he's, year? He's on his rookie yeah. contract. So he's still. got, what, three more years? Because yeah. the fifth year's an option, yeah. right? But so how, how much are you going to pay him to be a backup that another team... Well, he might be, be like, yo, you have a complete team. We it, Depending if he gets to the NFC Championship game, he's like, well, I kind of want to win another championship team. Yeah. Game, they're, right, you know they're, they're right now, like, a healthy... A healthy cornerback and a running back away from being consistently good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, and plus you were in the NFC East, which is <laughs> which is not, the, go not the best. It's you and the you Cowboys know? that are really like yeah. the only set. I mean, teams Washington, well. Washington was up there before they had. I mean, Washington's a QB, hurt. but well, before he got yeah. hurt. But also, you know, how, how, I mean, Washington can get him. Yeah, you know how crazy up. is it that after like such a mediocre season in our division? Like four of like two of the four remaining NFC teams are NFC East teams. <laughs> yeah. It's it's insane. It's crazy. Well, the thing yeah. is, I think like, it's not mediocre. I think it's just tougher. Like in the East, like it just the the talent is a lot better. Like Dallas is a team always full of talent. The East, all in all, did have a very tough schedule. Yeah. Also, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, I don't know. I just, I just feel like kind of building off of what you were saying with you know him not being able to uh, last like his sample size is too small. I don't know if you would throw away a, a, a great rookie, not not a rookie anymore, but a like young, a young quarterback that can show that he could win games and lead you towards the playoffs um, for two first round picks. Because it's like, what are you going to get with those two first round picks aside from you know maybe a healthy cornerback and a healthy running back? Yeah, that, yeah, yeah that's you want to fill holes and continue yeah. to be oh, a you win now trade, team. But you would, could you, trade would you trade that other? You could trade those other picks for something higher this year. What uh, what round did he go and uh, Wentz go? He was first. He was the second, second pick. Oh, yeah. no, you're second overall. Second, second, second. yeah, because Goff went first. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. the Browns were going to take him, but they, I think they traded out. They the. Uh, I think they traded to the Eagles. Yeah. 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 Hugh Jackson wanted someone a little further down. I mean, it worked out for them. They got Mayfield. So yeah. 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 Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Uh, you know, he's a, he's a great quarterback, and that's that's going to be interesting if, uh, you know, next week it could possibly be Dallas and the Eagles. That'll I would kill myself up. if that happened. <laughs> I would honestly kill myself. Be a fun I just made ju- yeah, just... I would not even – I wouldn't watch it. Um, I know, it sucks. What is it? We're, we're giving all this love to the Eagles, but you got to look at the Bears now. Like, look at what yeah. Trubisky did. You know, it was a rough game. Cody going, I mean, Parky. Uh, I, I feel it's so bad. Well, it tipped. If yeah. you watch the replay, it was, yeah. was stiff. Yeah. Oh, it's, a, it's officially ruled as a tip. Oh, yeah. it was a, it was yeah. a tip. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. The ruling. Something Hester. Uh, but like, there's a million like, uh, there's like a bar, a brewing company in Chicago. I heard that's like, if you can kick a 45 yard field goal, you get like a free drink or something. That's crazy. Like they're doing like. Insane things. I feel that's, so bad for the guy. That's the thing about, and I'm going to go on the fucking record here about Chicago fan bases, is that they always pick the wrong guy to go after. Yep. Mm-hmm. They pick Steve, poor Steve Bartman, yeah. who's a fucking just a, a, a man. Regular in, dude. In a sea of assholes. And when the, the Cubs had two games they blew to fuck up that yeah. whole thing. Mm-hmm. And now you Cody Parkey, who fucking, he knocked the first one in, no problem. And this one got tipped, and you could see it because of that tip. It fucked the alignment up. It still would have yeah. went in. It would have went not in. Been tipped, and it almost still went in. Like even after getting tipped. Yeah. The Bears should be lucky that they were even. They should feel lucky they were even there. They were. We saw them as before they got Khalil Mack, as kind of a, a not quite their team. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They jumped three years in progression. You know. With Khalil Mack. With Khalil Mack, you had you know Trubisky, the biscuit going off this year. 
You know, he really stepped up to prove a lot of people wrong. They picked the right receiver out of Jacksonville to take Allen Robinson. No offense to Allen Hearns. You know, R. bless R. up. But, bless, you know, R. R. I feel bad. Jesus Holy Christ. Jesus Christ. That was terrible. That injury. That oh, looked horrible. My God. They showed the – sorry, real quick, Bri. When they showed that replay, uh, you know, watching it live, he's like, all right, let's see what happens here as we go to a break. And you see it you just pop. See it snap. You man. see it snap, and then Joe Buck's like, hi! <laughs> and then he gets back, and he's like, we are not showing that replay. <laughs> he's like, that is a gruesome yeah. injury. And I'm no, like, yeah, yeah I, was, was. I was at work, so I was – I saw all – I checked my Twitter feed, and everyone's like, Alan Hearns, Alan Hearns. I'm like, oh, what's, what's going on? He probably did something great, yeah. finally. And I saw the fucking slow down, and I'm like – Oh yeah! I'm Ooh. sitting in the middle of the lobby going, oh, <laughs> oh God, no! Yeah, it was nasty. Oh. It was brutal. Yeah, but Alan Robinson was a good. Alan Robinson was a, was a pick solid too. pickup. It's yeah. good to get out of that Blake Bortles system. <laughs> yeah. It works wonders for you. I will say too, even I feel like Khalil Mack was kind of invisible in that game. I feel like he didn't have a crazy game. Like, uh, yeah, well, I, I, he did his thing. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I think what. The, the the Bears have to take this season and obviously use it as a building block. They got a good coach in Nagy. Yeah. They got you know they've got the right pieces. Just solidify a couple of things. They got a good two running backs. I mean Trubisky did what he had to do in that yeah. fourth quarter. That was yeah. the he last got drive. There. He got him where it needed yeah. to be, and it just that, didn't happen. That division's going to be very interesting again next year with uh, Rodgers with the new coach and a hopefully reinvented offense. Yeah, well, and hopefully they put some does. fucking pieces around yeah. Rodgers, man, because. Was that last drive set up by a uh, kick return? Like, wasn't the yeah, return? Yeah, really like well? like the like, yeah, the like, yeah, 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 had a good return, return. return. Yeah. and they continued to move. Yeah, mm-hmm. but, but he got it down to that. I think it was oh, like yeah. a thirty-five. Yeah, yeah, he got it in there. It, it was it was definitely field field yeah. goal. But uh, between the Packers, uh, you would assume the Vikings are going to step it up next year. You'd hope. You'd hope. Yeah. Oh, what a letdown that yeah. was. Yeah, like feeling's going to be like, I want out of here. If all three of those teams are firing on all cylinders, it's going to be a fun division. And then Maddie Patty's just sitting there in Detroit, going, I should have should just stayed in New England. Now, if you're the Bears, you cut him. Cut who? Cody. Uh, no, I think I don't think you do it because uh, was it the Ravens didn't cut Justin Tucker? When yeah, he but, up? but Justin Tucker is a like as a reputation like name like he's like yeah, he was, he's actually like a really he's won them game yeah yeah he's a very I mean, popular I mean this uh, guy kicked, there. hit the fucking post eleven times this year yeah he, right, eleven yeah. times so like, like, uh, he maybe missed, they should have cut him before he missed times. I think yeah, seven no. kickoffs uh, seven kicks but he hit the upright like eleven and it bounced in uh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah 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 so but, he was play, he was playing with God right and forget there, about yeah. it the, people have brought up his old Instagram videos of him like kicking it and like hitting like street poles perfectly. Uh, like practicing, yeah. and then everyone's like, "Oh, look at this idiot!" Like you even when the Bears, uh, when, they, when they lost, they all want all the fans wanted his head after the game. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? That's so how do you keep him? That's the thing. You know, Chicago, I'm, Chicago I'm, fans are dumb. I think sports fans in general. I'll cut them some. Like, I'll cut them some slack. The game just ended. They were hot. But it was you, a miss. You, you got to give Cody Parkey go. credit. He answered every question yep. in his locker room. Oh, yeah, he did no, not no. back away. I yep. respect he, the guy. Don't get me wrong. And 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 something something that somebody brought up, and I I forgot who brought it up, but. You know, you you saw that he prayed like before he did the kick. He did it and, no, no, he also did it after too, and that means like he still trusted like yeah. like you know thanks the thanks football guys. Like, yeah. How you know petty I mean? would he like, have to be? It's like, well, you fucked me. Really? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Satan, thanks, how's man. it going? <laughs> yeah, but you, know, but you know, like I think in 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 any sport. In any sport, like I don't feel like you should be going after the head of somebody who bl- like blows the game because I'm sure they care about that moment more than you'll well, ever care about that. I mean, moment, not for so. nothing. And if it wasn't for him, they would not even be in the game. Yeah, he had nine yeah. points, right? Yeah, he, he had, had three, three, points, three, yeah. three out of four. Yeah, I think that so, was uh, so. one of his teammates, uh, Chris Long, uh, went over to him. He's like, "Hey, man, you had half our points today. You you kept us in it." Yeah, yeah, and and somebody else says like, "Oh, what do you think?" Like a player of his is like, "What do you think of everybody?" Like. You know, talking like what they're saying, and he's like, "Fuck you! You don't know our fucking, you don't know our fucking life." Like he flat yeah, out cursed. Yeah. He was like, y- "You know, anybody who wants to talk shit about that, like, fuck you." Yeah. He's like you, you don't know anything about the pressure. You don't know anything about the position. I was in. fucking nervous, and I was just watching the game. And you're not yeah. even a bad. I'm not fan. even. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you're, you're, you're against. You're anti eagle fan. So well, I mean, it, either or, it doesn't matter. <laughs> just, yeah. just being in that no, situation is just crazy. It's a captivating game. Yeah. And uh, you know what was captivating in the other way. It was uh, how bad the Texans played. Oh, yeah. Oh, Please, yeah. Andrew, yeah. that was your pick for the Super Bowl. I know. Bowl. Please, and they tell did, us how you feel. They did oh, the God. annual tradition of getting eliminated in Wild Card Weekend. They, they always, always fucking do. Yeah. And um, been, this is probably Bengals. the best team that they yeah. brought yeah. to the playoffs. I think, you know, they, they just, with uh, with all the injuries, with, um, what's his name, Fuller mm-hmm. and uh, Thomas. Oh, uh, oh, Demarius Thomas. Demarius Thomas. Yeah. Um, 
You know, but even like uh, Kiki was going off. Mm-hmm. I just, I, I don't know. I think the Colts are just a better team. I just on think Sunday. the Colts are just a better team. Yeah, yeah. it, lo- it looks like Frank Reich is my co- lock for coach of the yeah. year. What he's done for this team this year. The uh, the Texans obviously didn't look like they they were ready. To no, they, and yeah, I think no. that's that shows like Bill O'Brien does not have this team ready yeah. to go, and he should be. Well, everyone thought sent he was going to be last year. Yeah, and then yeah. they kept him, and it's like. Same things happened, you know what yeah. I mean? He's the new Marvin Lewis. Yeah, yeah, I mm-hmm. would agree with that. Yeah. Except he's yeah. won a playoff game. But, um, no, I mean, now if I have to pick a new team, now that the Texans are out, I'm riding the Colts train. I'm plugging in. I'm I a mean, Chargers man. <laughs> I just love all the stories of, like, you know, Luck in his comeback year, how far he's mm-hmm. come. And can you imagine him winning it all in That'd his comeback good. year? I mean, yeah. Frank Reich. What, what a, I, I love it. Anybody what, that's not the Patriots or the Eagles, player. I'm yeah. okay with I'm a little bummed it. that the Colts aren't playing the Patriots Thanks, this man. weekend just because of the stories oh, there. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much, Brian. <laughs> he goes, anybody that's not the Patriots or the Eagles win, I'm okay. Yeah. I was like, Thanks, man. <laughs> I appreciate yeah, you that. Fucked you know what? That. It would be nice if you're to see a championship out of one of your teams when you're alive, you know? Yeah, that's true. Well, I saw uh, how many five in a row, uh, five with uh, the Yankees. Well, it's different and, from uh, football. It's actually like I also, fun when I, also watched, yeah. I also watched two. I saw two uh, as a Cowboys fan you, in my lifetime. Years old. I was going to say, you were like one. Yeah. <laughs> I was still alive. You didn't even see it. My dad yeah, was can, watching the game. I was there. Then I could say I've seen was three Giants championships. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. I only saw two. So 86, 91, 2007, and 2011. I got them all, baby. You said in my lifetime. In my lifetime, Dallas has won two. Yeah, but you're not really alive until you turn five years old. Tell me what you did to celebrate that win. Yeah. I had I myself. Well, isn't that what the Eagles fans did last year when they won? <laughs> yeah. so, so fuck you so, me shitting myself is just as much as what yeah. that fucking city did to stop, themselves stop supporting him <laughs> thanks PJ I knew this would happen once I get on the same team <laughs> oh. yeah but uh, I mean the the Texans did not show up but you gotta you gotta like what the Colts are doing. They have a hundred million dollars, right? One hundred twenty yeah. million in yeah. cash base this year. Yeah, they're gonna they're, they're gonna, gonna rebuild anything that team that is they, the whole line is they, re- revamped. Yeah, you know, I would I. Would, I mean, you would think that they maybe they go after Le'Veon Bell, but then you're like, well, Marlon, what's his name? Marlon, Marlon Mack. Mack. Marlon Mack is he's, on he's, fucking he's, fire. He's have, yeah, he's doing his yeah. thing. So it's like, well, well, now they can spend it on defense. If yeah. They need it. yeah, 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 sure. And, and I think that's what they. Darius Leonard, sure the, yeah. the, uh, the linebacker Leonard, who's probably going to win Defensive Rookie of the Year. Yeah, he's probably, a, he's yeah. a beast. Yeah. All, all the talks was between him and uh, Van Der Esch. Yeah. I think it's probably whichever one of those two goes further in the playoffs is going to get the. Get the nod. Yeah. Yeah. Is it based on playoffs too, or is it? No, they just. It's kind of like a. It's like a. It's like a, a like little cherry. On it the could top. be whatever's fresh yeah. in your mind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I gotcha. Yeah, he uh, he's a fucking hell of a player. Yeah, yeah. Hell of a player. So, yeah, yeah. It, it's fun watching that team. Yeah, it's yeah. very fun watching. It's that a team. good team with how everything started off this season with Josh McDaniels being the biggest dick, fucking ghosting them right at the last minute. Yeah, and then you know Frank Reich stepping in. You know, he, you know, he, I think he kept everybody who was hired by McDaniels. Yeah. And they just, like, you know what? They said, in, in spite of everything, they started off slow. Luck, you know, he was a little shoddy about his shoulder coming in. But then after a while, after fucking uh, Jacoby Brissett sent him up to get killed, <laughs> it's been a whole different yeah, team. Yeah, knocked some sense into him. <laughs> yeah. It's like, all right, I got it, guys. Like, it's over. <laughs> uh, and it was like I was saying, I kind of wish the Colts were playing the, Pat- the Pats this weekend. Right. Just for, like, the stories in that matchup. Well, it's How gonna... crazy that would be yeah. if the Colts won. I mean, it's definitely going to be. I feel like it's going to be a shootout with the uh, Chiefs. I mean, yeah. you got two uh, Chargers. No, they're playing they, the Chiefs. They, they oh, the Colts playing the Chiefs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I think that's two high-powered offenses. Yeah, you no, know what it's I mean? going to be. I think both the AFC games going to be great. Yeah. yeah, that Chargers pack game is going to be crazy. I think. Yeah, I think that. Yeah, you want to talk about that? Yeah, let's get into the Chargers. Yeah. Oh, the Chargers. Let's talk about the Chargers right now. Chargers played the Ravens. The Ravens had a little bit of trouble. It kind of the rookie quarterback. Everybody wants to say played into the whole thing. I think the Chargers are just too good. They no, got a yeah, great yeah. roster. Because, I mean, I know we said last week on the show, we're like, oh, well, now there's the tape on Lamar Jackson. They're going to know how to stop him. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, really, you don't know what that guy's going to do. You you know, he's one of those Russell Wilson Dax right. where he can just take off in the pocket well, I think and they played, get you 30 yards. The thing, I think, they, though, too, it kind of it kind of got to his head a little bit because, yeah. like, when he was, like, if you were watching the game, when he was, like, running and he'd get, like, a first down or something, he'd start, like, celebrating, throwing his fucking arms out, like, oh, I got the first down kind of thing. But then I'm like, you're not making any plays with your fucking arm. Yeah. You know I mean? you just, yeah. I think in the first and, and then half, it was he, the fourth quarter when they started making that little comeback. He's getting a little touchdown. I'm like, oh, all right, maybe it's a little, 
you know, too late now, but like, you know, maybe he settled down a little bit and maybe it was just too much. And I think that fourth quarter was vital in setting them up for this offseason. Because if they did not get that click in in the fourth quarter, oh, they were yeah. going to have to deal with that all off season. Of you didn't put Flacco in. Should we, is this guy really like? Yeah, you what, about Har- yeah, yeah. what about Yeah, what about Harbaugh? Was it, that was going to be a big call if he would have put in fucking Flacco over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm if he put in Flacco and they yeah. lost, he would have been fired. Yeah. But yeah. the fact that he stuck with Lamar, it proved to uh, the owners like, all right, you got one more year with this kid. Yeah. Now you yeah. just yes, yeah. uh, Flacco is going to be he's going to be gone. He's going to be somewhere yeah, else. Yeah, he's going to sign somewhere. Yeah, Jacksonville. Yeah, Jackson. So? Or the Giants, which everyone doesn't get Haskins. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't Good want Lord. Flacco. Fuck he's going he's gonna to back up fucking uh, Jimmy Garoppolo in San Francisco. <laughs> I don't know. I can see that. Right? I mean, it would be smart. Like, I could see it. If he's going to keep on juking people in, the, in between the sidelines. Uh, uh, never mind. What? I mean, no, no, no. no I, I remember. It's all right. Continue. Sorry. I mean, that was, just, that was probably the worst game that I... For the week, I think I would say it was a tough, say it was so. a tough game to get through because yeah, you know the um, whole first quarter was like it was all it was all Chargers, and you actually were coming real close because I think you had the Chargers said, shutting them out. I said I was playing the the uh, inexperience of Lamar Jackson, and I know he did great in Louisville, but this is a completely different. And the San Diego Chargers, I think they they put like eight, they had like linebackers playing safety, so they were making him like how the. Like how the Giants wanted to play Dak, like all right, throw and try to beat us. Yeah. But they knew that they had you know uh, Ingram and Bosa up front where they could be like, all right, if we're gonna crash in, we'll crash in. Mm-hmm. They just, I think their defense was a lot. I thought that they, it's a lot better than the Ravens. Um, and I, I was close. I mean, I th- they were running away with it. Yeah. I mean, I don't even think they they probably should not even been in the playoffs. But I mean, I think their they, future's kind of bright with, with Jam- Lamar Jackson too. Yeah. Though. Yeah. No, yeah, I, they're. They were a year away. I think if you give Lamar Jackson the full season, mm-hmm. it, they, and they make the playoffs again, it'll be a different story. Because what do you, yeah. he went? I think he went six and one, right? Six and one. Six yeah. and one. Yeah. So. yeah. Oh. And now you know, after being the last quarterback picked in that class in the first round, he's now the only one with playoff yeah, experience. Yeah. yeah. So it was good he had a home game because I think if he would have been in San Diego. Oh. I think he would. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Los Angeles. That's All right. right yeah. yeah. But still, <laughs> and, uh, but still I mean, that I think. Uh, the, the Chargers are happy they're on the road because I think they hate playing at this little yeah. fucking like soccer field that they're in right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, that, I think they have that going for them is that every game feels like an away game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They love they they what is it? They're I forgot their record away. They're like it's eight like, and it's one. Crazy, yeah. yeah. They're like yeah. they're really crazy. They're just they're used to it. Yeah. The yeah. opposite yeah. of my team. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> road Warriors. Yeah, they, <laughs> I think that's that would be a crazy thing because if the Chargers, let's say the Chargers and the Cowboys meet. In the Super Bowl, it'll be a Cowboys home game and a Chargers away game. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. that's gonna be real tough. <laughs> yeah. They, yeah. You know, it's like we're both Dallas plays Dallas. great at home yeah. and the Chargers play great away. So that's gonna be real, yeah. real tough. Wait, is but, that where the Super Bowl is this year? No. No, it's in Atlanta, right? Yeah, Atlanta. Atlanta. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Too bad Chick Fil A won't right? be open in there. <laughs> <laughs> that's my favorite fucking thing. They put a, they put a ch- fucking Chick Fil A in a stadium that's awesome. where that's. Only popular on Sundays. Well, and they have stuff going on. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah that's true. But yeah. still, but still, the biggest still, money day of the year. Chick Fil A's yeah. just sitting there. Fuck God, it. wanted us to Thanks go God. for Sunday. <laughs> yeah. They give it the old Co- Cody Parky. <laughs> <laughs> hey Satan, you like chicken? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so uh, those were the games for the week. We hit on all of all four yeah. games. Uh, yes, we did. So a little bit of a uh, yeah. little bit of coaching changes yes. going on. Today and yesterday were really the big days. Yep. Uh, first off, uh, Cliff Kingsbury, the big one going to Arizona. Yep. Um, do you want me to go down the list, or uh, how do you want to do it? Yeah, just yeah, go, go down, down the list. Yeah. All right. Uh, I don't t- care about it. Tampa Bay got so. Bruce Arians. They're, with, uh, they're now the Arians Nation. Yeah, so. the Arians, with Todd Bowles as their Todd Bowles. Goal, which completely kills the Arians Nation. <laughs> 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 uh, Cleveland, Freddie Kitchens. The Jets just got Adam Gase. Green Bay getting Matt LaFleur. And Denver getting Vic Fangio. Yep. So now the only two spots that are open as of now, when this episode goes up, are the Dolphins and the Bengals. And soon to be the Houston Texans. Yeah, soon to be Houston <laughs> Texans. <laughs> um, I don't think... I think uh, the Bengals are going to be forced into taking like a college guy. They're almost going to have to like Shanghai a man to like just coach his team. They have, smack uh, him on the back of the head and like, now you're just a coach. Hugh Jackson. Oh, God. Uh, Sitting right there. No, they're. I think they were going for a hard rebuild, so they gotta blow yeah, it all up. They yeah. gotta scratch everything. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Get AJ Green for a fourth round pick. I believe now that the Jets got Gase. Uh, McCarthy said he's sitting out the year. Yep, doesn't mm-hmm. want 
McCarthy wanted to play, uh, wanted to coach the Jets, which is a very weird year. thing. Yeah, hearing coaches be like, "If I can't play for the Jets, yeah, I don't no, because play. the Jets are want to go anywhere." They're a young team too it's a, now. It's a smart move for McCarthy because he wanted to coach the Jets because it it's was a young. It's, it's no, it's Sam Darnold. That's what you're coaching. Yeah, yeah exactly. You know, he, yeah, That's, he he already turned. Something like that with yeah. Uh, yeah. Rogers. Yeah, so. he had he's no really good at having a good quarterback, mm-hmm. like, a good young quarterback. Do miracle stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah he's uh, he wanted like everyone kind of like was saying that he's a little bit too conservative now. Yeah, he doesn't really like. And also with a guy like Sam Donald, you're not going to think like, all right, well you're going to do like five flea flickers before you throw the ball. You know, do something crazy. Mm-hmm. It's like you you want Donald because he looks like he's the kind of guy to like to work the pocket and you know, like manipulate everything and like hit those receivers. But I think what kind of makes like because they were also looking at some other fucking college guy uh matt rule i think his name came yeah up. the guy from um baylor 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 yeah. baylor mm-hmm. yeah so his name came up and they're like oh they're gonna they really liked him they wanted to come back and then but they like, say he didn't have any experience or something yeah, he, had like no, he had no he uh, had no nfl experience yeah. sounds perfect for cincinnati <laughs> <laughs> exactly can't get much worse <laughs> but he just announced that he's going back to baylor yeah so, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah so yeah um now how much money do you think tampa bay had to give bruce arians to get him out of retirement I think just the uh, friend, they just like, all right, you pick who you want. But yeah. I was like reading something. It was something about like the rights or some shit like that just to talk to him. They had to really? give up like a pick or some shit like that. Oh, shit. I don't know. I, didn't, really? like, I just saw like. because well, he retired. He yeah, it was like a seventh round pick or something oh, like that. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like mean, some late pick, but yeah. still. He's probably mm-hmm. like, fuck it. Just I'm to get the rights to like talk to him. Yeah. He's like, fuck it, I'm already retired. I'm right down the road from Tampa Bay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to go coach. Just chilling. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, do you think they're going to try to get a new quarterback? Do you think they're sticking with Winston? I think they're going to stick uh, with Winston. So, but how do you think can yeah, do for I him? Know. I don't know. If, I couldn't stay with I him. I don't think he's got it. I would trade. I would try to trade him to he's a, a team agent. that needs it. If oh, anyone, so if anyone is going to get him going, I guess it's Bruce Arians. Yeah, I that's mean, true. He yeah. kind of turned the Cardinals around for a long I, time. I think there. that's the thing. You sign, you sign James Winston, and then you maybe you sign a Flacco. Maybe you sign the two guys and you go, all right, battle that. We're going to cut whoever doesn't make it. But didn't they already so try that they this just year? Did, yeah, yeah they, they just tried well, no, they had, they had Fitzpatrick. They signed Fitzpatrick for like a veteran's minimum. And then Jameis Winston was a fucking idiot and like he sexually assaulted an Uber driver. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you got to – he had like, Jameis Winston did a lot of growing up by the end of the season. I know mm-hmm. a lot of guys were like turning around on Jameis Winston. But, uh, you know, he did – unfortunately, he played Dallas that one time and – that guy fucking ate the W in front of him. Yeah. And yeah. Was, uh, um, I forgot was, about that. Yeah. 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 And you know Who's a monster? Got, he's a monster, by the way. Okay. He tosses all people. All right, guys. Take, <laughs> take it to the closet. This is an anti Dallas zone. I don't know if you know this. Well, I'm a Giants fan, too. So. Yeah, but you're also, like, not biased. <laughs> so that's why I enjoy talking football with you. Yeah, well, I'm you like, know these what? Fucking I had schmucks. to sit through Dallas uh, Eagles talk last week. Oh, well, that I've sucks. Maybe if you guys were in the playoffs. Well, it, might, it, it might be next week, too. So yeah, just. Geez, <laughs> humble, humble Mikey. Yeah. 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 No, because I'm tired of being. Good sportsman, Richard Petty over here. I'm the ultimate opportunity. I'm being oppressed, all right? And I don't appreciate it. Yeah, and of all the people who have been oppressed you are definitely <laughs> you are definitely up there on the oppressed yeah, people so list. thank you um the hardest oppression causes the very the shiniest of diamonds now uh i just wanted to touch on adam gase again how sure. you guys feel about that because i think I, I don't know if i called it on the episode or if i've just been saying it um because i felt like they were gonna go you know offensive coach mm-hmm. he's knows the know-how of the dolphins now who's a division rival i felt like it was right on the wall for it how do you guys feel about that and the Jets just going offensive coach in general. I think it's such an finally. extreme move yeah. from the Jets that are it's not like an older defensive coordinator. Now it's a younger offensive guy. That it's such a Jet move that it doesn't really matter. Yeah. 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 I mean, I, a lot of Jet friends, so they hate it. But <laughs> they wanted the guy from, uh, what's his name, from Killsbury. What's his name? Oh, Kills- Kingsbury. 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 Yeah, Kingsbury. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, who knows, man. Different yeah. personnel. You know, Darn- also, you got Darnold. Also, the whole franchise of the Jets, to me, always kind of reminds me of, like, the Twilight Zone, where, like, you never know what's going to happen yeah. with that team, and they're very, like, hot and then not I, hot. I know exactly like, what's going to happen. They're not going to win a Super Bowl. That's Yeah, yeah. Like, the, thing, the thing is, I think they, they have their QB. They have, what, $90 million in cash space this month this year. They have the, yeah. the, the, what, the third pick. Yeah. I mean, they can make moves. They can, this make, they can make, they moves can this make moves this year. They can make moves this year, and, and, and uh, the Dolphins. The Dolphins were actually not that bad with Tannehill. So you know, let's let's see what happens. You never but, know. You know, when you when you change a head coach from somebody who plays as defensive as as uh, Bulls was, um, you know, 
bringing in guys might be what they need. Maybe it's just a you know something. different change of scenery scenery for him. Yeah. It might be good for them. You never yeah, know. A little colder. And I think yeah. uh, like we were saying with like you know Tannehill's been a very average quarterback, mm-hmm. and you could make excuses for Gase in Miami. I feel like there's not really excuses now in the Jets with that quarterback with the yeah. money to spend. No, yeah. Like, yeah. You, there's no excuse you should be to, a solid team. I mean, next I mean they, they have, have to end the season nine and seven. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they have At to least. fix though. They have to fix the O line. Mm-hmm. They need a running back. I mean, you need some weapons for him. He mm-hmm. needs a receiver. Who do you, who's the number one receiver? Robbie Anderson. Yeah. Quincy yeah. Anua. Yeah. I mean, those are probably Anua. Yeah, honestly. that's. Well, I mean, that's. I, they I, just signed Anua to a four year contract. Yeah. If they. I mean, Le'Veon yeah. Bell's out there. Go grab him. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Shore up that O line. And do you uh, trade to uh, Pittsburgh? You trade a, for a couple of first rounders for Antonio Brown. I, I mean, you do what you got to do. I mean, Brown Antonio Bell? Brown's. A, yes. I mean, he's kind of. What is he? Thirty one. Yeah, I think he's yeah. thirty-one. Yeah, he's so, so he's I know he's still out. a fucking beast. Yeah. Um, yeah, you put him in that division with the Patriots and the you know and the and add some competition I to mean, the yeah, Patriots. Definitely add competition. Yeah. And, and but, then, but then you're the not going to be able the bright to, lights yeah. of New York. But then you can't shore yeah. up. Then you can't shore up the the defense because you're spending all that money on on him. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, not on him, but like you won't be able to draft uh, you know a better defense there. Because if you're giving up draft picks, also you know if you go and get Le'Veon Bell, that's a lot of money that you that yeah. you're going to be paying because he, he, he turned down a lot of money to not play in Pittsburgh. Yeah, so he said you, he you know like you're going to have to fight. Yeah, you, twenty million. I how think. old? He's twenty seven, right? Yeah, yeah he's 20. he's still. I mean, he still got it. Yeah. But yeah, you still got to give it. He's, yeah, you, he's somebody he's that still deserves like, it. You know, I think he's going to go with the Colts. Yeah. No, I think uh, I think Andrew's team. He said the San Francisco 49ers. You think it's still going to happen? But I don't know if they have money like that. They have money. They have money like yeah. that though. If they're gonna do one thing, they'll. Do you gotta think too. If 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 Le'Veon Bell is watching football right now, right, which he probably is, so he's watching the Colts, right. And if they the Colts beat the Chiefs this week, right, and let's say they do, there they you, you know, even Maybe if they go to the Super Bowl, whatever it may be, and you have all that money to spend on him, then why not? I could also. For what some... about the Chiefs now that they don't have Cream Hunt? Ooh. No one's ever talked about the Chiefs with yeah. money. I could also, they're still I, winning, so I feel yeah, like really. it, it hasn't been an issue. They've been, yeah. they've been winning with a lot of guys that they've drafted. Like I mean, Kelsey's probably coming up. Hill's probably coming up. But you, I mean, that team is just stacked on the offense. It's yeah. like yeah. every position is stacked. I also, I also think that it could also go to like I could see like the fucking Patriots doing it too. Like uh, turning him to more of like a receiving, mm, like a receiving. I don't think he running, fits there. Running yeah. Yeah. Back. yeah well, I don't know if they he have be... Burkhead, Michelle, and uh, the other guy. Who's yeah, they just drafted Sonny like every... Michelle in the yeah. first yeah. round. So. Yeah, 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 I don't see, I don't yeah, see that going. Yeah. I forgot about, uh, about yeah. Sonny Michelle. Just, that, was right. a, that was a bad take. Let's. So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're fired. Get the fuck out of here. Also, with the with Dolphins, you know, I brought it up early to you guys, but. The secondary defensive coordinator for the Cowboys is now on his second interview with the Dolphins. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, right. So they're just so, so trying he, to clear up space for giving Scott Linehan that so, mega contract. So he want to give it forever. To so yeah. he got. So he back got a. Uh, <laughs> Why about do we always go back to Cowboys? <laughs> We're talking <laughs> about head coaches. One here. point of reference. Is but, the, but, the Cowboys like fifth string secondary coach. So uh, <laughs> you know, back to back to you know my point. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, Rod Mar- uh, Marinelli, the defensive coordinator for the Cowboys, said he was Close like personal titles. <laughs> he was like titles mean. He's like titles mean nothing to me. He's like, if we want this team to win, like I'll do anything to get him to stay as a defensive coordinator for the Cowboys. Uh-huh. So like he's like he's like trying to get Jerry Jones to throw him all that fucking that money, like all that fuck money that he's got lying around because that doesn't rely on cap space. Yeah, yeah. That's so co- you yeah, know, coach money. Yeah. So you know, Jerry Jones once said that he'd pay. You know, two hundred million dollars to fucking actually, <laughs> to win a Super Bowl. So let's see. That how much actually helps him. that guy's case because he's gonna be like, well, I'm gonna be. I could either be a head coach for like ten million dollars or be a secondary coach for like eight million dollars. I think I think he'd be. I think he'd be the boot, defensive just, coordinator. It just boosts his fucking his uh his uh stature throughout the league. He's gonna he, he could easily go like, hey, as much as as fun as it must be to be in Jerry's world. And all that sweet cocaine money, or whatever Jerry does, <laughs> also with a great young sure, well, team. or whatever. Or if you want, if your dream in the NFL is not to be just a defensive coordinator, but maybe be a head coach, and you're having trouble finding a door open, Jerry Jones and Rob Malinelli just kick the fucking door wide open. Yeah. It's like I'll give this guy all the money, and he'll be like, "You see, you see this? They're gonna give me all the money." So obviously, I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, but then, but then, don't then you think like, that they'll counter like the, the counter Raiders. offer? Like if if they're that no, if they're the that Cowboys, hell bent on, I'll give the Cowboys credit. They know when to back out. They'll be like, all right, we don't need to pay this guy. 
I uh, yeah. I but I mean, I, I don't know. If, I think all the internal can't get pressure, too attached in football, man. I know, I know that. It's a I'm transient just, sport. I, I just think that they might. Uh, Let's get into a little segment now called studs and duds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's so, that time. Yeah, uh, studs sorry and duds. For talking of the week. about the topic. My bad. Uh, who who you got, Andrew? Who's your studs? Who's your duds? Uh, my you know I'm gonna start with my dud of the week. And my dud of the week is the Ravens offense for not playing smarter. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> um, my stud of the week would probably be... I should have been more prepared for this. Yeah. Man, we were on at something and then you fucking ruined uh, it. <laughs> Guy. <laughs> I'm going to say Philip Rivers. I feel like he really stepped it up. He's poised. He's ready to go. And he's ready to fucking win. Yeah, that that's my stud of the week. The the super Sleeman slinger. Mm-hmm. Uh he's out there fucking making babies and throwing touchdowns. So uh I really wanna I can't wait to see this game against the fucking uh Pats. Yeah, no, it's gonna be uh good. Uh my dud of the week would be uh Bill O'Brien not getting the Texans ready. They <laughs> they finally had the team at a hundred percent. They had Deshaun Watson, they had DeAndre Hopkins, JJ Watt healthy, Jevion Clowney healthy. The defense, I think, was pretty good. Uh, was it Jonathan Joseph called out fucking uh, T.Y. Hilton, called him a clown. Mm-hmm. T.Y. walks in there with a fucking uh, clown mask and fucking steps all over him. Yeah, um, that was fucking funny. Bill O'Brien should be fired. I know he's a, ni- a very nice man, but he needs to find new employment. <laughs> You know what? That's my dud of the week. Bill O'Brien. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I knew I had something else and I couldn't think of it, so I went with the Ravens. Bill, Bill O'Brien, O'Brien ruined your fucking predictions. Yeah. That was it. PJ, you got uh, any studs or duds? Studs, duds, duds. Uh, I'll start with dud. Uh, I'll give it to uh, Lamar Jackson, man. I kind of expected a little bit more of him. Even though he is a rookie coming in, he had, what, two fumbles in the first quarter? What two possessions that they had, yeah. or three fumbles in the in three fumbles in the, in the first two, you know, two possessions, and then to end the game, he fucking fumbles the ball. So, I mean, they definitely had a chance to possibly win at the end, you know, driving. Um, stud, uh, either I'm gonna say Zeke. Zeke did his thing, man. He had like 130 rushing yards, right? Of uh, 26 yeah. carries, I think. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, that offense runs through him, and um. I think that if they want to win, they got to fucking, he's got to have, you know, he's got to have over 100 rushing yards each game. and Over 20 carries, they're undefeated. Yeah, I mean, keep feeding him the ball. That's that's mm-hmm. the way to win. So, I so would definitely say he's a stud. Hand the ball to him 50 times. That's a double They'll win. Double win. Oh, they'll double win. <laughs> they'll jump two weeks. <laughs> they'll jump two weeks. <laughs> they'll play the Super Bowl. <laughs> Fuck you, Saints. We're already winning. Um... Uh, my dud of the week, I'm going to go with uh, Brian Schottenheimer, the offensive coordinator for the Seahawks. Okay. Um, they Wasn't he the defensive coordinator for the Jets at one point? I feel like he, like, uh, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I right, yeah, sorry. Don't know. So uh, I, I feel like the play calling that he, that he did in that entire game was just the opposite of what you need to do to beat Dallas. Um, you know, they went 2 for 11 on third down, on third down. Uh, they went three and out like four out of the first six possessions or something like that. Like it was, it well, was that's crazy. more of a Pete Carroll thing than a Brian Schottenheimer thing. Well, if he's the offensive coordinator and the play caller, but Pete Carroll runs that whole thing. It doesn't. I don't think. I don't think Schottenheimer calls those plays. I think All Pete right. calls them. So then, Schottenheimer <laughs> slash Pete Carroll both are duds this week. Is <laughs> yep. that? I, I I figured that it would be the offensive coordinator. I forgot that. A, yeah. lo- a lot of teams, the head coach makes their calls. Yeah. Okay. All right. So then, Pete Carroll would you know take that responsibility. Of being my dud this week, uh, he's just North North Pacific John Green. <laughs> uh, I honestly, you know, I hate being biased, but uh, I I would give it to Dak this week. Um, he 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 balled out when he needed to ball out. You know okay. that third and seventeen run uh, to set him up for the first uh, for the touchdown in the in the fourth quarter really, uh, you know, sealed the deal for us. But I mean, he was making great throws, and you know. Taking control of the offense when he needed to, I think it was a very, very outstanding game from him this this past week. Okay, so now uh, the games to watch obviously have still only there's only four games we're gonna watch. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. This week we've got the Saints and the Eagles, mm-hmm. a rematch of I think week seven or something where the Saints blew the doors off the Eagles. Uh, yeah. We have the Cowboys and the Rams. 
Which I think played last year together, right? They didn't play this year. They played last year um, in week, like, seven or something like that. Okay. Um, then we have the Colts and the Chiefs, which would be a lot of fun to watch. Mm-hmm. A lot of, lot of aerial assaults. And then we have the oldest game in the league of the week with the Chargers and the pa- uh, Patriots. So... Let's do some predictions. Mm-hmm. All right. Cool. Uh, where do you guys want to start? Do you want to start NFC, AFC? Start, uh, start with the first game. Start is, with uh, the first game? With is what, Chiefs and... Chiefs and uh, Colts. Chiefs and Colts? Chiefs and Colts, yeah. All righty. Uh, any prediction for that game, score-wise? What, what do you think? 48-42, something mm-hmm. like that. Like, it's, it's going to be... a it's going to be a really, really I don't think really it's going to be that game. high. Is that your official prediction? You're saying uh, 48 to 40? <laughs> <laughs> you know, we keep yeah. tracking these. But who are you taking? No wonder you're just going to pick the score. You're just picking a score. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take the Indochini Fist right, City Cubs so Chiefs. So for real, I think it's going to be, I think it might be like 34, 28 uh, Chiefs. I think the Chiefs are, Okay. it's going to be, it's going to be weird because, you know, they're coming off the bye and stuff, but. They were kind of hot too before, uh, you know. At the same time, the Colts are so it's gonna be a great game. Yeah, um, for sure. I think it's gonna be a mess though, I, uh, but we'll see. I'm 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 also taking the Chiefs and a similar score actually because you took my score, Dick. <laughs> uh, hey, you can go you same can, score. Can, you can, you can, you want no, I don't want to do that because I don't like you. So <laughs> oh, okay. uh, no, that's a lot. I'm gonna go uh, 37-28 Chiefs. Um, I do think that's gonna be a very offensive game. Mm-hmm. Um, just the Chiefs just have too much. Too many weapons, yeah. and um, I mean, you always had that whole um, you know scenario with Andy Reid can't win a playoff game and all that kind of thing. So, the, you know, ooh. but I just think that you know Patrick Mahomes is a fucking stud. He helped me win my fantasy championship. Do so, you think um, that Mahomes and the Chiefs' talent that's left on the on the field is just going to overpower the, the, all of that bullshit with Andy Reid? Like you think, like now they've got you know they finally got like a stud quarterback to go with you know Hill and Kelsey and. I, I just think that they're always in the games. And, uh, I mean, when you have Patrick Mahomes, who's a fucking can score, and that team can score in 10 seconds. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. they're just so, when, when you have, what's his name, fucking Hill? Yeah. He's just, he runs a 4-3, dude. He's so fucking yeah. quick. <laughs> I don't know. I, all of a sudden, I think I want to retract my score. I think I want to go lower. Because I forgot the Colts' defense is, is really fucking good with their pass rushers this year. And their secondary is actually pretty well. So I might... Can I lower my score to like a 28, yeah. 24 or something like that? Sure. Yeah. 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 Uh, no, obviously. I We wrote this in with Cold Art Bookie. We got everything Fuck. in line. Fuck. Wait, what just, is... Wait, now you took my score, you dick. No, <laughs> so you want to go what, back to your score? <laughs> what's the... Uh, does anyone know the over and under of that game? It's... Uh, I don't. Uh, Chiefs five and a half. They, uh, they're given five and a half? Yeah, they're given five and a half. I'm but actually... Oh, go ahead. Oh, but we don't know the whole... We don't know the oh, the actual total, though, right? Mm. No, they, I don't. Uh, ESPN doesn't um, give you a okay. win. While Mikey did take my score, he did I actually, really? Yeah, he did. Oh wow! However, <laughs> Mikey's just stepping on the However, shoes. I have the other team winning. I have the Colts going twenty-eight twenty-four. Oh wow! I think, Andrew, I think Andrew Luck has playoff experience that Patrick Mahomes doesn't. I think mm. it's going to be a close game, but I think the Colts are going to sneak it out. Okay, I I am going to agree with you that the Colts are going to win. I think it's going to be 35-27, uh, 28. Ooh. Um, I, the Colts and the Chiefs have do have playoff history together. Yes. One of the biggest comebacks in, I think, NFL history was the Colts against the Chiefs when they were down, I think, like 30 going into halftime and they just whooped I their think, ass. I think they said something like uh, Andrew Luck having like an insane record against the Chiefs in yep. the playoffs. Mm-hmm. Um, I think because it's going to be outside in Arrowhead. I mean, it's always crazy there. Of course, yeah, but is. the Chiefs had uh, the Chiefs had always this, throughout the season have had trouble with real teams. Yeah, <clears throat> they can't mm-hmm. they can't beat winning teams, and the Colts have a winning record. Mm-hmm. So I'm taking the Colts, and that's that's yeah, the the, uh, the over under is 57 for that game. Oh Jesus! Wow. So you're looking at maybe like a 30 27. Or, yeah, I, mean, obviously yeah. Could be, uh, I definitely, I definitely take the over. Yeah, yeah. it's a I, safe over. I don't know. I feel like when we get in these playoff games, I feel like the scores don't get that high because each team is being so careful. Yeah. yeah, like like, I don't think any score was higher than like twenty one or twenty four. Mm-hmm. I think the the most the most point scored was by Dallas by twenty four. Yeah, and then it was yeah. twenty two by the Seahawks. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the next game on Saturday on Saturday night is going to be the game of uh, eight o'clock game out in Los Angeles. It's going to be the Dallas Cowboys against the Los Angeles Rams. Mm. Yeah. Mikey, you want to go Mike, first? You take it first. For, uh, you're Dallas, so you can't take anyone else's score. Um, <laughs> now, if you said 
minutes ago, Dallas does not play well on the road. But do you believe that the Rams have what it takes? Well, so Dallas prepares for their for their season uh, like <clears> 10 <throat> minutes away from the Rams. So they're used to that area um, that has a lot of – they said that it's going to be like – it's possible that it's going to be like a 70%, 30% on a fan turnout or uh, – like something in that range, so I feel like they're gonna they're gonna feel like it's it's kind of close enough to home. Uh-huh. Um, you know, the weather's not bad there, um, so it's not it's not gonna be anything. I don't think they're gonna have trouble. Um, I think this defense really really wants the uh, you know wants the Super Bowl this year, so I think they're gonna go nuts. I think it's gonna be something like 28-21 Dallas. I think that it's gonna come down to the fourth quarter, obviously, but I, I think that. I think with the momentum that we have and not having the bye week and Gurley not being super healthy, um, I think that I think that will be will be good enough. There we have uh, some matchups like positional matchups that I think are going to benefit us. Also, you know, Goff is a great quarterback, um, but you know, we'll see. I I just think you know I think we edge uh, we edge it out. Rams are being given seven yeah. seven points. I don't know what that means. I don't. So they're going to be. Um, they said they're going to win by a touchdown. Win by a touchdown. All right, I'll reverse that. Uh, I actually, crazy enough, it's going to shock everybody. I actually pretty much agree with Mikey. I think Dallas is going to take it. As much as I hate to say it, I think it's going to be close. Uh, Gurley's issues do bother me a little bit. Also, McVay being an idiot and his team's not played much in the past two weeks and had the first week by. Like it's just, I feel like they don't have the momentum right now. And uh, I have Dallas twenty four twenty one. Okay. okay. Um, I will also take Dallas, and Fuck, guys, I'm I'm actually pretty close to what Parker just said. I'm taking uh, Dallas twenty four twenty uh twenty four twenty, and over and under for that game is forty nine and a half. Mm-hmm. So I will definitely take the under on that. Yeah. I, I I just think that uh, Dallas right now, like what you were saying, um. The Rams, you know, they haven't really played well down the stretch. They've rested a few guys. Um, Dallas is hot right now. Um, Dallas, as long as their defense keeps does, doing what they're doing, and if you keep giving the ball to Zeke, I think that the offense runs through Zeke, and I think that if he does what he does, I think they're going to win that game. Mm-hmm. Now let me throw it out there. If the Rams do lose this game, does McVay kind of become another Andy Reid stereotype where he just can't win in the playoffs? No, he needs like he needs, he needs 15 like, Well, I'm just saying, yeah, you see, it's, yeah. Yeah. Just like, just <laughs> start to develop. Uh, because it's like two years in a row now, you get the first round and you're out. I think he gets more of the... I mean, I think I think there's a lot of pressure on because look what the Rams did in the off season. Yeah, they that they front spent, four is disgusting. Yeah, you know what I mean. They spent they a lot the of money. You, you shored up the the corners and everything like that. I mean, this defense is is ready to win too, but. You know, like you said, I mean, uh, the Rams have been sitting players, you know, trying to get everyone healthy. I mean, the receivers aren't really, you know, a couple of them are hurt. So, who's the receivers are Brandon oh. Cooks, uh, Robert Woods. I don't, I don't even, yeah, I don't no. even know. What's his name? He just went down, didn't he? Or oh, he went down all. Cup's been out. Yeah, yeah. Cook. Yeah. Cook, yeah. Cook, yeah. Cook I, I don't know if you know that, but I predicted that happening that week. Yeah. Cooper Cup. For some reason, we were doing predictions. I was like, I have a feeling that Cooper Cup's going to tear his ACL. And uh, then Andrew texted me. He's like, yo, Cooper Cup just went down. And I was like, Oh, word. I totally forgetting about it. Yep. He's like, dude, it might be his a- ACL. He's like, you called this. And I was like, oh, shit, I did. Wow. I predicted it. Yeah. Oh, way to be an asshole. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Brian, what are you thinking for Dallas and L.A.? I'm thinking it's going to be 21-14, and I think Los Angeles is going to win. Mm, I think mm-hmm. – um, I do. I still think that Scott McVay is the big dum-dum. Uh, but I also think there is it, – it's – it's weird because they're playing in the Coliseum, which sits like I guess a two million people, so it's gonna be kind of a weird dynamic. It's gonna be a fun game to watch. I, mm-hmm. I don't think it's gonna be one of these like slogs to the to the destination. Yeah. But I think the Rams have uh, the Rams have kind of underwhelmed as as of late, as everyone's kind of been saying they haven't really done much, but. The, the last two games against the 49ers and the Cardinals, they were they were plus thirty. I think I just think, but that's not I, hard again, you know. The the what is it? The Cardinals have a good young defense. They have mm-hmm. they have an up and coming defense. The 49ers, I I guess they're just patchwork of a mess. But I think for them to you know right now the the Rams only have two players questionable, and the fact that they didn't lose against the Rams uh, the the 49ers and the Cardinals. Because they they still have a good backup running back, 
So yeah. they can throw different kind of schemes out there. Mm-hmm. But I don't think it's gonna gonna bring a lot of points. I think it's gonna be a lot of the whole like uh, maybe 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 no, he's got a punt kind of like that. Yeah. It's gonna be a lot of yeah. there might be one or two big plays, and I think the the Rams defense will be opportunistic against Dak. Okay. I think they'll they have enough they have enough tape on him now between the last game against the Giants where the Giants kind of made him throw the ball mm-hmm. where they took where they took Zeke out and they're like all right go ahead throw now we can see what they do and like now we'll see how you run out and then they have a game against the Seahawks. Where he it was an all an all around game. Yeah. So I think they they think they'll they'll build to something. Plus, not to come to dirtiest player in the game might kick someone in the dick. Who knows? That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you can never trust that guy. The, the the last thing on that is I just I I'm I feel confident just because you know we we played a high caliber a high powered offense mm. um you know very late in the season against the Saints and we held them to fourteen points and Drew Brees under one hundred and thirty yards. So I feel like if we could just repeat the same thing with Goff, I, I think that that oh, would yeah. be, you know, very but opportunistic. Goff and, Goff and Breeze are two different quarterbacks. Goff can Goff can run around more than, than but Breeze, he, but he doesn't. He doesn't, but he that, can. No, like he can. That's but like that, saying that pocket. Once that pocket collapses, Goff Goff doesn't go anywhere. Goff Goff would either force a throw or he would or he would get uh, get sacked. Um, you know, kind of the same problem that Dak has when uh, you know when he's not able to run out of the pocket and stuff, you know, he just collapses upon himself and, and gets sacked. I feel like Goff is the same thing, where once that pocket collapses, Goff's going to either force, and that with the, our defense, you know, with, you know, our linebackers, our cornerbacks, I feel like we just have to wait for Goff to, to force a throw. I mean, if you have a, a very healthy Randy Gregory coming off the left end and a very healthy Demarcus Lawrence coming in, you know, I think those uh, are... We have, like, 80 more games to cover. We have man. one. Two. Two? Two more games. Oh, okay. My bad. Well, Got to save you know. your Cowboys references for the next games. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, my bad. Again, just sticking to the topic. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, we got to move on. We have time. We have All a time right. constraint here. Yep. But look, I just, uh, who knows? I'm not a professional at this. <laughs> mm. uh, uh, which is the early game on Sunday? Uh, Chargers. Chargers, Chargers, Chargers Patriots. Chargers, Pats. Chargers flew from Baltimore back to Los Angeles now, going back to New England. All right. And I think they, they, they said that they're using it as an advantage for them to keep the whole road mentality. That's so, weird. They're yeah. fucked. Yeah. So, no, yeah, that's they're a, getting fucked. That's a lot of fucking... I'm telling you, bro, they are going to get fucked. They played, they played the Ravens. Yeah, they fucking banged up on them, and they got the confidence up, but... New England, when you have a week to fucking two weeks off, and Brady, how do you well, fucking bet against them? Wait, I just how I, is I, saying a week off for Brady is better than a week off for Goff when Goff is like forty years younger and he's because Brady's Brady because Brady's, 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 Brady's probably the greatest quarterback we've ever Goff, seen play. This game. Goff is, Goff is but, a first round pick in twenty sixteen and has numbers comparable to their the fourth round Dak Prescott. Like he's not the greatest quarterback. I'm not he's saying not, he's the greatest quarterback. I'm just no, saying, I'm saying but why, is, why are you using <laughs> a one week of a of rest better? For one guy who's older and who's been get bit, getting beat up more, that's and why. you have a guy, be, be, but then you have a younger guy who's now going to be a lot fresher. Yeah, because you've seen you've you've seen how Tom Brady is in those games when he gets the extra rest. I've he fucking seen literally every, every yeah, playoffs. he torches, yeah, torches, he, yeah, and he has we, more we don't, wins and, after by than and I maybe think it's not in now. Maybe it's not NFL. we're saying like oh well we don't know. It's because we don't really know what Goff is going to do. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like he's only been in the league for what two years. This so, is his third year. Yeah, so yeah. it's third year. So, like, yeah, so maybe the extra rest will be beneficial. To, we don't mm-hmm. know, but I'm just, I don't trust it. I from trust, ex- from I trust Brady. Tom yeah. Brady off of a bye yeah. is very promising. Yeah, he's very promising. And, and that's, and, that's, and, that's actually and what it comes down to. And them being home, I mean. I, I mean, the fact, like, I understand, it, you know, it's team mentality of going back to, like, their practice field and stuff like that, but I think that hurts the Chargers to go back home to a, a nice, warm California and, and practice just to then go to I mean, Gillette you, Stadium. You see how cold it is outside it's today? Fucking, yeah, it's freezing. It's, it's going like, to be cold. It's going to be like 15 you, degrees it's gonna in be Gillette. Cold, you guys know they, they practice in a dome where they fix the temperature, right? That's yeah, what those it's, bubbles it's are. Very, it's very different than breathing in cold air yeah, like that. Yeah. Co- compared Artificial to air. 26 yeah, degrees is different yeah, than 15 to, degrees with the wind. Yeah. You know, I well, think that that's a, that's a big factor. I'll, I'll I think say, they, just, they shot themselves in the foot with that. Um, New England's going to be my pick. And um, I'm going to say 20, I'll say 27-14, or yeah, 27-17, I'll say. Mm -hmm. 27-17, the over-under is 47, 
Uh, the Chargers are getting four right now, so who knows? Yeah. I just, I don't know. I just trust trust the Patriots. I mean, they kind of flew under the radar this year. I mean, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, no one's yeah. talking about them, and that's how they fucking, that's why they like it. I'm going bold. Um, I think I think the Patriots are going to take it. I think it's going to be so bold. Well, <laughs> I think they're going to take it. 30, that's the hottest take of all I, hot takes. I think they're going to take it 36-21. Whoa. Yeah. I, th- I think that Phillip Rivers, I feel like he's going to get shook when he sees Tom Brady doing Tom Brady this things. This is a man who made fun of a diabetic in front of millions of people. All this right. man does not get shook. Right. Maybe that's why he did it. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, who did? Phillip Rivers called out Jay Cutler. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny uh, that's great. Uh, Brian any predictions for this game I'm saying the Chargers are going to win uh, 31 21 I think I think the Patriots they needed like they, they're going they're going down I think the I think Bill, Belichick is out He's, he doesn't want to do us anymore there's no fucking there's no fucking fire in that team they they beat up on a weak Jets team to go to the last week of the season. I think they're going to rush so many fucking people at Tom Brady. He's not going to breathe. The, I, I think Gronkowski's going to get hurt midway through this game. There's nothing left of the Patriots. I think that Tom Brady's going to get the ball out very quickly. Yeah. He's, he's going to see what happens with the Ravens. He's got no edge that to his team winner. right now. Josh Gordon was the only thing that may have changed the game, but he left. I mean, you got Edelman. You still got Who's not as good. I mean, you got... You, they Edelman have a different was, run, running back every other week, and they yeah. still fucking decide to do their yeah. thing. Here's the thing. Edelman is not as good anymore. He is older, too, but he needed Danny Amendola to throw everyone off. I'll, I'll, I'm going to tell you one thing. Tom Brady. Yeah. That's all you... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you can tell Tom me, Brady. You can yeah. tell me Tom Brady, but the last time Tom Brady was in a high-pressure game, he lost to the Eagles. Yeah, you're not wrong. Okay. Uh, it's, a, it's a new era. The, I mean, you the, also had Tom Brady who won the Super Bowl when they were down, what, they 20 were down points? 20, 20 28 20. points? Because yeah. the fucking Falcons didn't run the ball at I all. Mean, I mean, the Falcons... No matter what we it was, we won the game. We were at your house no, for that I'm, game, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we were yeah. at your no, house for that game. I'm not saying that. that he, he took advantage yeah. of, the, of, the, you know, of the fucking gifts the Falcons were giving him. Yeah, I mean... It's just that I think the Chargers are on a different level this year. They're a better team... They've got they're healthy. They've got you know that young defense. You know they could they they could have been torn up by you know Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson's a good player. No, you're they, right. They they can confuse. I think they're gonna hit Brady in the mouth so hard, he's gonna like go. I guess I should retire. <laughs> And I, might retire. He might retire. <laughs> After he gets hit that yeah. hard. He, he, you have to understand, Tom Brady wants that sixth Super Bowl. Yeah. And, and he's going to... And he's... Yeah. He wants that sixth Super Bowl, yeah. and he's coming off a Super Bowl loss. He's fucking hungry, bro. You know and as, mu- as much as you don't see it, and Philip Rivers has hungry. 60 kids. He needs that game day check. That's true. That's well, true. He That's needs true. more Look work. at Cromarty, and he's <laughs> yeah. not playing the game anymore, <laughs> so... He's struggling. Philip Rivers holds his destiny in his own hands right now. Andrew, what do you think? Yeah. I'm going to go 28-21 New England. Mm. Uh, Alone is that, again. Is that what I said? I want the Chargers to win. You said uh, 27-17. Okay. Uh, I want the Chargers to win. I just feel like I've seen this happen too many times to bet against the, pa- Brady, the Patriots. Yeah. Um, and like I said, we've given them two weeks to game plan. They're going into New England. You go to New England in the playoffs. You don't leave New England in the playoffs. Yeah. Tell that to the Jets who did it. How long ago? Yeah. It was like eight years ago. How many Super Bowls have they won since? Also, Baltimore, Baltimore did it. Pittsburgh did it. You know, just because. Yeah, and 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 with that though, with Baltimore or um, with the Jets, that team that year, their defense was disgusting. Yeah. yeah. So was the so was the. I mean, the Chargers', the Chargers defense is good. It's not the number one defense. Yeah. Like. It, Who's is the is the Cowboys the highest rated defense in the playoffs? The, right the, now? The, yeah, oh, the Ravens so. were. Oh, the Ravens yeah, were. Yeah, but now the Ravens, the Ravens were, are yeah. out. Yeah, so, so it's got to be Dallas. Yeah, yeah. So right. I mean, who knows, man? Yeah, I think this is going to be Dallas the game of the week. Patriots. Yeah, this is definitely the, the game of the week for sure. I'm telling you, Chargers going to win. Yeah. Huh? Hey, Brian's hey. right now yeah. in predictions. Yeah, lap sure. dances for you. I don't think we. You heard first. Let's do the final game and then we could go over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next. Um, Saints, Eagles. Saints, Saints, Eagles. Saints, Eagles. Uh, Biases aside. Biases aside. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll, t- I'll take this one uh, first. Um, I have the Saints. I want the Eagles to win. I want the Eagles to win. I want to face. I want to face the Eagles. You're scared of the Saints. 
Yeah, hell yeah. I'm I mean, who is it? Yeah, <laughs> why wouldn't you be? Us beating them, that was like a really good game, but you're going to put Drew Brees back, you know. I don't blame you. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't want I don't, I don't to play a team that we've beat twice already, and they have to come play at this home is in, in Dallas. I would right. fucking love to play yeah. that game. So, what's so your as, score? A perf- as a as a projector, as somebody who you're just projecting games for maybe our fans, our fan who might want to bet this game, go, I trust Mikey's decision for some reason. First of all, yeah. that's a horrible don't. choice. <laughs> I mean, what led you to this road? But you know, so you're gonna you're gonna put your personal bias aside. So you're gonna say you're gonna I'm take saying, the Eagles. I'm saying I'm taking. You want, you no, want the Eagles because you want the matchup. I'm taking the Saints. Okay. I want the Eagles to win. I'm taking the Saints to win this game. All right. The Saints, I think, are gonna win this game, uh, 32-24. Ooh. Um. Did I take yours again? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> My bad. I think I think Drew Brees, he's got something to prove, and I think that you know since they're playing on Sunday, um, especially if he sees Dallas wins, he's gonna want to win that game and face us and and take us out. I think it's gonna become like a revenge tour for him uh, against us because we embarrassed him, mm-hmm. and I think he wants he wants to. I, I know it's not a big rivalry between us, uh, but you know, bigger rivalry: Saints, it's the Cowboys, Saints, Texans against Saints. the Chiefs. One hundred percent the Saints. Sean Payton's a fucking piece of shit. Ouch. But, uh, Sean geez. Payton, guy who wants the Cowboys job. And Sean Payton, also a guy who puts hits on people. So That's true. <laughs> it's Greg Williams, yeah. obviously. Still. He <laughs> approved it. But uh, I saw that. I saw actually an article with him, uh, with Sean Payton, where he brought $250,000. Two, two yeah, 225 or 275? 250 or 275 uh, yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Brought it to the locker room with two on with the, and the Lombardi, Lombardi trophy. And he's like, three more fucking games. Let's fucking win this. And the locker room just fucking erupted. Yeah. Came in with three army guards. Like, whole, the and whole, it, whole shebang. Which, that's that's why they're going to win this you week. Don't, you yeah. don't have to sell me on the, on the Saints. I'm, a, I'm in on the yeah. Saints. Yeah, I think the Saints are going to win this week. Are you, Brian? I am. I'm in on the Saints that they're going to win... 41. Whoa! That's a game. 41-28. 41-28. Wow. I think kind of the almost the same reason you have you guys were high on Brady. You gave Drew Brees two weeks of rest. You had to embarrass Teddy Bridgewater like how you did. But uh I think Brees needed it. He's he's a he's a he's a good game guy. He's that team's it team's chomping at the bit, I think. The Eagles, I think they're still their defense is still pretty, still pretty beatable. Oh yeah, I mean they let yeah. you know, Trubisky yeah. walked all over them. Their yeah. their their, their number just, one cornerback still still has an ACL tear. Yep. Um, well, he can't you know. come back from that with a yeah, week. That's what I'm saying. But I I think I think the Saints are going to be so juiced up, they're going to be ready to go. And I uh, I mean the Eagles run. I mean because the only reason why I want to see the Eagles succeed is so that they have to break the bank signing Nick Foles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like just being like bullied into signing them. <laughs> it's like to you kind gotta of, do it now. To kind of fucking up their future a little yeah. bit. But uh no, I think I think this is the end. I think this yeah. I uh, I'm also taking the Saints. I'm taking a twenty one fourteen though. I don't think it's gonna be as high scoring. Hmm. Uh I do think the Saints it's are going to win. one blood in the playoffs. I do think the Saints are going to win, but I I'm also just week. looking at the <laughs> week the ahead where I think it'll be Saints-Dallas in a rematch okay. mm. at a championship game. Please, I'm... Eagles win. Please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to take the Saints, too. I think that... Clean, uh, this is our first clean sweep. Yeah. yeah I think it's going to be uh, like a 30-17 game. Uh, you know over... what's going to happen, though, right? Saints, uh, Eagles are going to win 50 to 0. Oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, over under is fifty one for that game or fifty and a half. Hammer the over. Um, New Orleans is giving eight, so I don't know Saints for sure. I just think uh, Drew Brees, Kamara. I mean that offense is high powered. Yeah. You know, it's a, it's a reason they're a number one seed. So. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know. Yeah. And they didn't fall off like how the Rams did. They kind of ended. Yeah, they've they been stronger. stronger. They, they lost strong. the last week because you know they. Threw oh, in, they threw rested in, everyone. Yeah, they rested you know? everybody. So. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, so. Uh, those are the predictions. Uh, of course, right now in the standings, in our predictions, uh, Brian is winning 3-1. Three, to one. three wins, one loss. Three wins, one loss, yeah. Uh, but your point differential is insane. Just wild. 71. <laughs> <laughs> this week it's going to cross 1,000. Yeah. So 3-1 and one with a 71-point differential. Uh, I'm in second place, two and two, with a 34 point differential. I had the smallest one, mm. and Mikey is one and three with a 49 point differential. Mm-hmm. So not far off. Because loyalty gets you everything. Yeah. <laughs> so the point the one differential is for what a tiebreaker? It's yeah, pretty much a tiebreaker. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what Mikey, are we, what are we winning? <laughs> nothing. Okay. Uh, breaking rights. <laughs> Sweet. 
Winner has to wear a Zeke jersey. Uh, <laughs> that thing's taking a world tour, like you said. Yeah, exactly. As a world tour this year. It's Mikey's weird fetish. He likes seeing whatever, his friends in Zeke jerseys. Whatever you do, don't, don't do the Zeke jersey bet with an Eagles fan. As much as you think you're no. friends with them, uh, okay. they are petty. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it's J-Balls. He's the only... Oh, he's going to burn that yeah, shit. he'll burn it. He'll um, give it back to me with shit on it. Uh, I do like that your one win was Dallas, though. Yeah. Out of all your predictions. Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, I, I had no, Even if we weren't predicting, I, I had a feeling Dallas was going to win that game. And yeah. then it just made sense to predict, you know, my, my actual gut. I think this week's going to be tough for us. But, mm-hmm. you know, it's, it's going to be a matchup. I feel like we have the the defense to stop a high powered team, and now it's time to prove it. Because because uh, when they were Scott Lenahan to to last another twenty years, in I Dallas. fucking I hope even if we win the Super Bowl, the next day he gets fired. He won't. Like, <laughs> and, I, he, I don't know. I don't know if he'll make it to next year. But uh, you know, Jerry Jones when we were playing the Saints, he said play as if it's the Super Bowl, and every week minus the Colts game, they've played their fucking ass off. So I'm hoping that it carries now that they're closer and closer. Man, so, they're a hot we'll team. See. No yeah. one's taking that away from the nope. Cowboys. Mm-hmm. Nope. But ju- but don't sleep on that dumb dumb Scott McVay. <laughs> Fucking lion scumbag. He's so dumb, dumb it just might work. Who's who's dumber, Scott Scott Linehan or Scott? Uh, oh no, is it is it Scott McVay? No, it's not. Sean McVay. Sean McVay. Sean McVay. Yeah. He said Scott. Yeah. Yeah. I always <laughs> part of the gag. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right, or, uh, or, uh, Mikey. Where can the good people find you? You can find me at uh, dquats on Twitter or mdquat on Instagram. Also, possible new show coming up soon uh, for me. So we'll see. Everybody's we'll getting see. motivated. Now, now that I'm done alluding, yeah. that's Mikey's turn. <laughs> yeah, Mike, Mikey's yeah. gonna do that shroud of mystery. <laughs> so maybe you know, if you like, if you like uh, cooking, maybe uh, keep your eyes out, ears open. Yeah. Are you making a cooking show? Possibly. Possibly. Really. I feel like everyone does these podcasts. I should do like a porn podcast. Let's do it. I watch I, porn literally every day. Dude, I watch it at least ten times. Touching tips. Yo, <laughs> touching tips. I'm touching tips with PJ. Yeah. There you <laughs> this go. is a one-on-one interview where you just talk to people about porn. So, dude, I'll as our tips, it, as our tips are touching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or you go the dicks of hazard. And just like, uh, <laughs> dicks of hazards. All right. All right. Let's yeah. do it. Good God, Brian. These names are genius. Yeah. We'll, we'll I like do. It. We'll do. Uh, I feel like you've had these like stored. I've I've been kicking around an idea. <laughs> yeah, Brian, that's a weird thing for our cousins to be on that same show together. Yeah, it's a little weird, but Brian, we'll move to Alabama. Yeah. All, right. all right, yeah, let's do that. Brian, if people wanted more weird podcast names, where can they find you? You can find me at Movie Mayhem Pod on Twitter, at Movie Mayhem Podcast on Instagram, and also every Sunday until the end of this month at uh, Movie Mayhem Podcast on iTunes, Spotify, and Podbean. And the show. <laughs> uh, PJ, where can the people find you? Uh, don't find me. Uh, <laughs> that'd be great. Uh, Twitter, really. Uh, Peach with three E's, four four. And that's there it. There you go. The Peach oh. Beach. That's it. Could be, that could yeah, be there the you show. go. J. Yeah. P E E J. P E E J. It was the E J and E J. You could find me uh, Twitter Parks X Core. Uh, be sure to check out Bull Duck Gaming, uh, twitch.tv slash Bull Duck Gaming, and anywhere you listen to podcasts. And uh, right here, of course, Pick the Last Pod. Twitter, at Pick the Last Pod. Podbean, Pick the Last Pod. Anywhere right. else in the world, you can, Pick the Last you, Pod. And then uh, if you want to, you can always play guess which host is tweeting at which time. Yes. If it's like fun. super hyped cowboy tweets, it's, it's definitely it's not fun. me or Brian. Brian. Or, if it's, or if it's also like really like these kind of like soft childs, like, oh, he's really trying hard out there. That's definitely Mikey. <laughs> if it's some like really sarcastic, stupid thing, that's me. Yeah. Anything uh, else is good. Anything else me. is probably yeah. Andrew. Andrew's doing all the predictions. When I retweet <laughs> XFL stuff to yeah. myself, yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you. I can't wait for that. Bodega. Open auditions. Let's go. I'm down. Sunday morning crew. I'm down. Let's be the New York team. New York Bodega Cats, we're coming for you. <laughs>